Forerunner 735 XT is a great tool for swim training. If you're swimming in a pool rather than open water, make sure you use the Pool Swim Sport Profile. Start from the watch face screen and press the Start Enter button at the top right of the watch. Then press the up or down arrow button and scroll through activities until you reach Pool Swim. Select it by pressing the Start Enter button. Press the Start Enter button again. The first time you use the Pool Swimming Activity Profile, you will see an on-screen reminder that wrist-based heart rate is disabled while in the water. You can continue to track your heart rate while swimming with the addition of an HRM Try or HRM Swim strap. Entering the correct pool size is very important for getting accurate results. The watch will store the pool size after your first use. If you go to a pool that is a different size, you will need to change the pool size by accessing this setting in the menu. Now on the watch face, you'll see an interval timer and an interval distance counter. Press the up and down arrows to scroll through other information screens, including one for total time and total distance, and one for recording drills. You can customize your data screens by accessing the menu as described for setting the pool size. From the Pool Swim Activity Profile screen, select Menu, then Activity Settings. The first option, Data Screens, is where you can select how many screens you can view and what data appears on those screens. Press the Back button until you return to the Pool Swim Activity screen, and then the Start Enter button. Now back on the timer screen, press the Start Enter button once more to start the timer and begin swimming. When you're done with your first interval or just want to take a rest, press the Lap button. The rest screen will appear with your time for the last interval at the top, interval distance at the bottom, and two rest timers in the middle fields. You can still use the up and down buttons to scroll to other screens. The colors will be inverted as a reminder that the watch is paused. When you are ready to start your next interval, press the lap button again just before you push off the wall. It is important to pause the watch when you are resting as this gives the most accurate results. The lap button toggles between swim and rest. If during your swim you want to perform a drill, such as a kick set, scroll down to the drill log screen and press the lap button to begin. The timer will start. When you're finished with the drill, press the same button to stop the timer. You will be prompted to enter the distance of your drill. To resume regular swimming, press up or down to navigate off the drill log screen and press the lap button as you push off. When you're finished with your swim, press the stop button Then select Save and Done.